begin tonight with those activists from around the nation converging on Atlanta to protest the $91 million training center for Atlanta police and first responders. Good evening, I'm Russ Spence. I'm Courtney Bryant. This after two years of demonstrations trying to block what opponents call Cop City. Fox Live's Christopher King is live at Entrenchment Creek Park with a look at what's to come. Christopher. Courtney Ross, police are gearing up for something. Exactly what that something is, they won't say. They parked their cars at the entrance for Entrenchment Creek Park. Hundreds of protesters are expected to rally here on Monday for what they call a mass mobilization to shut down the training center. Officers fan out around the South River Forest. They're blocking off entrances to Entrenchment Creek Park and the construction site for the controversial $91 million training center for Atlanta police and first responders. Four day mass action nonviolent convergence is happening here in Atlanta. Sam Beard is a spokesperson for the group called Block Cop City. Protesters from around the nation plan to converge on Atlanta for several days centered on stopping construction. It will culminate um, on the morning of Monday, November 13th, with a mass march and occupation of the construction site. Construction is already 40% complete. This despite two years of protest in the woods and at City Hall, along with current efforts to place the future of the facility on the ballot for voters to decide. The only people who are able to stop Cop City are the people. The site of the training center sits in the South River Forest. It's motivated anti-police protesters and environmentalists across the nation. Demonstrations have led to sometimes violent clashes between police and activists, including attacks on officers and construction equipment, as well as law enforcement shooting and killing a protester. We're choosing to use strategic nonviolence means. Dozens of people earlier this week appeared before a judge on racketeering charges connected with demonstrations around the center. State Attorney General Chris Carr calls the protesters, quote, domestic terrorists and militant anarchists. Are they terrorists? Are they criminals? Absolutely not. Activists accuse Carr and law enforcement of using heavy-handed tactics to try to silence their movement. What's on trial is actually the ways of viewing the world. Now, we've seen police in tactical gear up and down the street throughout the evening. APD says they don't comment on preparedness. A number of smaller groups are planning actions around Atlanta this weekend, and it'll end right here on Monday at Entrenchment Creek Park, where we are live. Christopher King, Fox 5 News. Mm, all right, Christopher, thanks.